guys, welcome back to another video. This is gonna be way chilled out today. We're talking about Gucci, the return of Gucci. Like, they've been dead for at least five years and now they've come back in 2016. They're making a whole load of stuff that everyone's just going nuts for. But I think there's some of us, I know because I've spoken to you as well and some of you feel the same way as me. There is a group of us who are reticent about buying any more Gucci because a few years ago they had a little moment like this and then that moment ended and I think some of us got left with bags that are very beautiful but suddenly they look really dated. Right, so I've bought two items. I'm gonna unbox them as we talk. The first item is a pair of shoes. This particular pair of shoes, I have wanted these since, I wanna say May. It was either May or June. I saw them in Harrods. I actually preferred the lower heeled version at the time. And they're one of those shoes that looks better when it's on than when it's off. When you see it on the shelf, I thought it looked like a really old fashioned golf shoe, but I tried it on and I was actually quite surprised. Now I preferred the lower heel because I thought I could wear it all the time, but as time's moved on, one minute I thought I wanted the metallic gold, then I wanted to get just the plain black. Now I've ended up with the black suede and I'm glad I've gone for the color that I've gone for. I was gonna go for the gold, but when I saw it in real life, I saw it in the Westfield store in London a couple of weeks back and it was actually too over the top. It was just too, too crazy um, when I saw it. So I ended up getting the black suede. If you're not sure about your size, the way that I would generally suggest you do this is whatever size you are on the high street, add half a size on. Doesn't always work, but for me, when I wear designer shoes, that always works. I'm always, always a size 39 in like Covella, Kurt Geiger, Topshop, but as soon as I put my foot near designer, I need to add half a size. So I took a 39 and a half and it's a perfect fit. It's not too tight, it's not too loose. It's a really good fit. These shoes are called the Marmont shoe and they were 445, no, 455 pounds. They are not the most comfortable, in my opinion. They're not comfortable because of that heel. That heel is quite high and there's no platform in these shoes. So when you walk in them, you really are on your tiptoes, which, I'm on the fence about whether I send them back and get the lower heel. I got the high heel just because when I tried them both on in the shop, I hadn't tried on the high heel the first time around, but I tried it the second and when I saw them, I just liked the way it sort of made my leg look, made it look like more elongated. Um, but in terms of being able to wear it, I might actually send them back and get the lower heel. The other item that I ordered was a bit of a wild card, like not too crazy, but I ordered a bandeau, like a little scarf. Now the Bando, this is a hundred pounds and it is in the blue Gucci Blooms pattern. This for me felt like a really good way of getting into, getting like a piece of that, that pattern, that styling without buying something that if I get stuck with it because it's not cool anymore, I'll actually care. Like with this, it's the sort of price where I will enjoy it and I'll love it and I can I can equally use it. Like I'm gonna show you here how you could tie it like around your neck or you could just tie it on a bag. I've done a whole video on how to tie scarves around your bag to make your bag look really fun. So I'll link to that below. But I liked the look of this. One thing that I, I thought when I got it, on the website, it gives the illusion it's gonna be a lot longer than it is. And when I got it, it's quite a bit shorter than I thought. Now I know I could have measured that, but I didn't. I just went based on the photo, but I still really like it. Gucci are just such a, a strange brand when it comes to this. I feel like with Dior, even with Dior it's happened where they, well, they'll be absolutely killing it and then they'll sort of go off for a few years. But with Gucci, Gucci, I want to say about eight years ago, it was, is that eight years ago? It was 2008, 2009. I felt that they were really on trend and I bought a couple of Boston bags from them that to this day they're beautiful but they look dated and I've tried to wear them but I, I wouldn't it just if you're into your bags you know what I mean you just you don't want to wear something that's like not cool anymore and looks like really 10 years ago and it's not even old enough to be vintage yet <laughs> and that's like the situation but I've kept them because if I tried to sell them, I wouldn't get anywhere near as much as, as what they're both worth. Since that point, I have avoided Gucci. I've probably, in, in all time, I've had four bags from Gucci and I'm, I'm left with two. And the other two that I've sold, I've mentioned them in other videos, but when I sold them, I sold them for literally nothing. 
not even half the price I paid for them, I sold them for really bad money because they don't seem to make the money back. The exception is at the moment with all of the recent bags that are out, I have looked up the Dionysus on Vestair Collective and on eBay. You're looking at prices that are in alignment with what they are to buy them from the shop. So you might as well just buy them from the shop. In terms of longer term investment ideas, I don't think Gucci is an investment. That is my point of view. Let me know your thoughts on Gucci. Do you think this trend that they seem to be like going on at the moment, do you think this is short lived? I questioned at the beginning with the Dionysus whether the reason why that bag suddenly became so popular, it's a bit like, who made the Drew bag? Was that Chloe? You know the Drew bag? That did the same thing. That was really popular and I felt like it was because loads of key influencers got hold of it really early on, took amazing pictures and all the rest of it of it and then it made everyone feel like they wanted it and it sort of created like a false hype. The top that I'm wearing is from Shein. I've done a video on this, I will link to it below. My watch, this is actually a new one. I bought three new watches recently from Jord. I don't know what the style name is of this though, but I'll link to it below. Lipstick I will put below. My lashes are my own and they are in the style cashmere. Uh, yeah, and I think that's it. Come and join me in the next video. I'm gonna link to it in that thing there. Wouldn't it be amazing if it actually fitted in my hand? It's that white circle thing with the eye on it. Click on it and I'll see you in a few minutes.